All right, guys, I'm going to do a little test here. Um, I bought these thermocouples on eBay, basically 24-inch. We we'll use a lot of these up in the Northeast. This is what you use on water heaters and a lot of the boilers. I just want to do a test on them to see if they're any good. There's a hundred of them. So, um, I have to test these and see what the story is. This is like my last day to make a complaint as far as if they're any good or not. So, we're going to test them. Bear with me here for a bit. Basically what it does is it senses the flame from the burner. I work on a lot of um, gas stuff up here in the northeast. A lot of gas stuff. I'm going to be doing some videos on that. Basically, what a thermocouple does is it senses the heat, okay, which we got there, and the flame, and it expands, and it tells the gas valve, okay, the pilot's on, you can let the gas through. So this is what you got to check, Let's see what we have here, um, it gives off millivolts. So what you want to do is you want to hook that on there like that. You want to go with millivolts. And we want to get something like, you know, twenty millivolts is good. 17, 18, something like that. It's going to be good. Millivolts. So basically, that's heating up there. And this is creating millivolts. Where this is set up here. Anything around 20 is good. We're, we're climbing. Nineteen point one. So that thermal couple is good. That's how you test them. Yeah, this is a basic fluke eighty seven V, which is a five. Um, I like fluke. Awesome meter. Well, you got to keep that in the flame, obviously. You know, I'm taking it out of the flame, in and out of the flame, but keep it in the flame. It'll, it'll creep. It'll go back up. I got it in the flame now. I mean, it's climbing. It's in the flame. You can see it's in the flame. So that's a good thermal couple. I'm gonna check a couple other ones here. I bought a hundred of these these suckers. Got a good deal on eBay. Watch out! It's my dog Susie. Got a good deal on eBay, like a buck a piece for these things. So you can't beat that. They usually go for seven, eight dollars a piece. So I change a ton of these in the, in the winter time. A ton of them. So let's get that thing right in the flame there. You can see right in the flame. That's basically what it's going to be if it's in a water heater or a boiler. I'll take you on some of my jobs come winter time and um, do a lot of gas stuff. Oil burner cleanings and a lot of oil burner service. Now the thing with thermocouples is, you know, even though this reads 20 or 18 or whatnot, 
If you got a problem with the draft and the draft is pulling that pilot off that thermocouple, hey, that boiler will shut down. That water heater will shut down. So sometimes you got a draft problem. See how you get it like that? Oh, it's getting a little flame. 25. That's good. See how it gets red? See how it's getting red? That's what you want to see. Look at that thing climb. Now, this is on millivolts. See how it's red? That's usually what you'll see on there. When that flame's hitting that thing, look at that thing climb. Millivolts. Now, flukes are awesome meters, but they're kind of bulky. So, as long as you get a meter that's got the 400 scale. You know, fluke. Fuel piece. Fuel piece 36 is good too. That's usually what I carry because it's a lot thinner. So that one's good. Check another one. Use a 24 inch. Usually, if you're going to buy a couple, you know, 36 inch is a good one to get, but it goes through so many of these things in a year. It's like ridiculous. I couldn't pass up this deal, so I'm just checking them. Gotta get that right in the flame there. Right in the flame. This is basically simulating what a boiler would do or a water heater. Usually they say anything above 20. So this, these are good. Basically, what these things do is they sense that the pilot is on, they expand, and tell the gas valve, okay, the pilot's on, you can let gas drill. If, that, if this thing goes off, like I took it out, it's a safety. What it's going to do is it's going to shrink back in, tell the gas valve, the pilot's not on, it's not going to let any gas go through and fill your house up with gas. That's all it is. It's a safety device. I just pulled it away from the. I just pulled it away from the flame. You'll see how it drops away. Now, as this drops, it's gonna shut the gas valve off and not let any gas go through. Cause if this thing was was faulty, it'd fill your house up with gas, and it wouldn't ignite. So it's a very important safety to have. See, what's good about this meter is on the ohms, it's got a 400 meter. It's got a 400 instead of a 200 uh, cents a meter on the ohms. Can't really tell, but same thing with the um, the field piece, 36. It's got a 400 scale instead of a 200 scale. It's very important to have that for the ohms. There's a lot of things you need. The 400 reading meter. Instead of the 200, because the 200 won't pick up a lot of things on ohms. So, like checking the yellow burners and stuff like that on ohms. It's a 200. It's a 400 scale, not the 200 scale. So you don't want to buy a cheap meter when you're checking stuff for ohms. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what we are. Millivolts. See, we're down to three, four. So that would have shut the gas valve off. It wouldn't let anything go through. Millivolts. These things produce millivolts. Thermocouples. See how you check it? Put the red on there and then the black on the end. If that's in the heat, that'll create millivolts. It will expand. 
tell the gas valve, okay, you're ready to operate. And um, let the gas through. Very simple. Alright, these are all good.